welcome back to my channel. Today's video is gonna be a little echoey because I am in a new filming room. I need to do a house tour soon because I've been changing everything up in my house. And so I'm a little echoey right now because there's no carpets in this room at all. It's just like bare walls and a floor. So bear with me with the sound. It will get better, it's not permanent. But um, I'm super stoked to do today's video because not only have I not made content in quite a while, but it feels like it's been like 10 years. 2,000 years later. Anyways, I have been loving the blonde hair. I actually used Bleach Please um, by my company Arctic Fox for my blonde and my highlights because I my roots were getting a little long. But um, today is the day that we launch a new shade and two new products that we have never done before. Bleach was the very first product that we created that wasn't hair color. So today we launched Froze, which is our baby pink. We've been working on this for so long. This shade is awesome because there's so many different things that you can do with it. If your hair is platinum, you'll get a gorgeous, pure baby pink shade. And then if you put this on darker blonde, like I'm gonna do mine today, it's gonna come out like a really beautiful baby dusty pink. And the darker blonde that you go, it's going to be even more of a dusty pink as you go down the line. On our website, you can actually see what Frosé and all of our shades for that matter look like on different levels of hair. Um, I added this on the website, like I would say like eight months ago, I just thought it'd be really useful for you guys to kind of see what the different shades look like on different hair levels. So this is just the most gorgeous baby pink. I've been wanting this in our range for so long. So I'm so stoked it's here and that you guys can grab it right now. It's also available at Sally Beauty and Hot Topic right now as well online and in stores. And um, if you put this on like more of like a, like a yellowy um, blonde, not like full on like orange yellow, but like, you know, natural blonde with like a hint of like honey yellow, you'll get a really, really nice basically like rose gold shade. So this is a coveted shade. I'm so excited to put this in my hair today. And the great thing about this is it will, as it fades out, it's just gonna go back to blonde, which is exactly what we want because I've really been liking the blonde hair. So another thing that we launched today is not one, but two dry shampoos. Oh my gosh, that rhymed, that was so dorky. <laughs> so very excited to introduce you guys to these two dry shampoos. I know you guys have been asking for dry shampoo for so long and I kept being like, we're working on it, we're working on it. Um, if you were reading through my comments, like I haven't really like shown it on my story before like a few weeks ago, but like it's been in the works for a long time. So, you know, hair color is something we've been doing for a really long time now and uh, Bleach Please was our first like gateway product into just the hair world in general. So I'm really excited to be able to offer you guys products that you can use even if you don't have colored hair because I see your guys' comments all the time where you're like, hey, I, because of work, etc. I can't have um, colored hair, but I want to support your brand since you donate to charity, etc. So now you can. And very soon there will be even more products for you to choose from. I'm going to keep my mouth shut on that one for now. But uh, thank you to your, uh, thank you to you guys for like all of your support. We're able to donate 15% of our profits to animal charity. And you know me, animals mean everything to me. Um, I actually have an animal Instagram and YouTube channel if you didn't know about those. Like I share all my pets on there and all that. So anyways, we have two dry shampoos. Um, they're both very cleansing and they're both eco-friendly and one is more volumizing where the other is just more of a cleansing dry shampoo. So this is Vacay. Um, of course, as disorganized as I have been traveling back from California to Nashville, I only brought Vacay, which is the vol more volumizing of the two. And I don't have the outer box, which I'm so annoyed by right now because like I should have that for this video. Like I'm literally unveiling and introducing you to these and my ass doesn't have the outer box. Anyways, I'll put some cute product imagery up of the outer box and all that so you can see it because we worked really hard on it. It's very cute. This has like little flamingos on here. It's so flipping cute. So each of these are in a pump bottle because we wanted to be eco-friendly and conscious of Mother Earth. I just hit myself in the face. Mother Earth when creating these. So the way that you're gonna use this, which I will show you after we color my hair today, I'm gonna be using this to style and I'll show you a little bit of it, like how it works in action. But you need to kind of shake this between pumps so that you can make sure that the dry shampoo is making its way up into the pump. But this is a lot healthier for the environment as opposed to an aerosol can. So that's why we decided to go with a pump bottle, even though it does, you know, require a little extra work to get the product out of it. 
So that's why we went with this. Um, this packaging, I just can't stop talking about this. Like I'm so excited. We've had like black bottles for our color for so long that I was just like aching for something that just wasn't like a black bottle. So this is very exciting for me. And I know you guys are probably wondering, okay, so what does vacay and road trip smell like? Does it smell like your traditional, original, OG grape scent? No, it does not. So we thought that we would switch it up a little bit and do a completely new scent. Um, inspired by some of my favorite perfumes and some of Ryan's favorite colognes, we actually did a gorgeous mix of amber, bergamot, vanilla, um, to name a few of the scents kind of mixed into this. So it's just a really nice, refreshing, like bergamot kind of lalabo. Like I love like the lalabo perfumes with like all, all those like amazing like bergamot and all the vanilla and like amber and just like it just smells so good um so we went for that with this scent and that's both vacay and road trip have the same scent so hopefully you guys love it i think it's an awesome scent like it smells just so fresh and good for your hair so like if you're on day five of not washing your hair and you refresh it with our dry shampoo, it's not only going to look amazing again and look like you just like washed it and have second day like good hair, but it's also going to smell like you just washed it. So it's a win-win. There's also, um, I wanted to mention jasmine, vanilla, and sandalwood in the scent as well. So like you can just like imagine how that, I wish you could like smell this through the screen. It's so good. It smells so good. But anyways, those are the dry shampoos. I'm super, super excited. Um, I also wanted to thank you guys so much for your support. Thank you for sharing Arctic Fox with your friends and family. And just like anyone, like because of you guys, we're able to donate such a large amount. Um, we donate 15% of our profits to different animal charities to help save animals in need. And I just wanted to thank you from the bottom of my heart for supporting Arctic Fox and like what we believe in and what we do. Um, so that is huge. So thank you, thank you, thank you. Um, a couple other things that I wanted to mention about the dry shampoo that just popped into my head that I forgot to mention is that this is TSA approved. So you can take this in your bag if you're traveling. So when you get off your flight, you can freshen up your hair. So that is awesome. This is also 100% vegan formula as will be everything that we ever create. So um, you can use this if you are vegan, it is vegan friendly. Without further ado, let's go ahead and start slapping some frosé on this blonde hair. I'm like super ready, super excited, and I'm stoked that I'm filming this because um, my camera got dropped a couple days ago and I had to buy a new camera, and that was not cheap. Ugh, gosh, it hurts a little bit still. It hurts. I think, I think this is a good first video to film with this camera. I'm very excited. So let's go ahead and I was gonna say get mixing, but we're not mixing. You don't have to mix anymore to get a light pink. You just pour frosé into a bowl and get on with your lazy self and slap it on your hair. Like I am usually very lazy and very busy. So the fact that I could just put this in a bowl is freaking awesome. Another thing I wanted to say with frosé is you can actually put this in your shower and use this as conditioner to freshen up your color between coloring. Okay, so we've got this in the bowl. Focus. Oh. Annoyingly enough too, we have some really cool new lime green bowls and brushes and boxes of gloves that we now sell. And unfortunately, I don't have any of those here either. Oh, idiot. Um, so yeah. You guys can check this out on the website though. I'll link everything for you in the description box. I've brushed through my hair to make sure that there's no tangles and we are ready to color. So that's good. You wanna make sure that you brush through your hair before you apply, apply the color. Let me put my mirror back, that would help. I'm so excited. This is exciting. This is kind of a big piece that I grabbed, but here, I'm gonna make this a little smaller. If you are new to using Arctic Fox, then you may not know this, but our formula is kind of like the consistency of conditioner. And I created it that way because I really wanted it to be easy to do like color melts. And also it's basically like having a hair mask in your hair when you're coloring. So, or like while the color is sitting in your hair, oh my gosh, this is gonna be so good. Uh, 
<laughs> um, so you can leave this in your hair for literally hours. Like if you put this in, you wanna go clean your house, you're fine. Like your hair is actually in really good hands. <laughs> and it'll be in great shape when you're done because it'll be extra soft. And if you have curly hair or super dry hair, I feel like those kind of go hand in hand. Um, this is a really great formula as well because it is super conditioning for the hair. So your hair is kind of just soaking up the nutrients and the goodness and the color while it's you know doing its thing. So I'm usually really, really careful working this into the hair, but I honestly don't really care if I have blonde streaks left over in it because I kind of want this to fade really nicely with the blonde and kind of, you know, end up being after a few washes more of a dusty kind of pink on the blonde. So I'm not super, super worried if this doesn't saturate every single hair strand, but if you are and you're looking for that really nice pastel pink, you're gonna wanna work in really small sections and just don't don't be shy with the hair color. Like just make sure you have enough. I get asked a lot too, like, hey, like is it, you know, is one bottle enough for my hair? Blah blah blah. And I highly recommend buying two bottles because then you'll have it for like at least two bottles, because then you'll have it ready when you need to touch up and you won't have to wait for shipping, etc. Storms get in the way sometimes, uh, you know, all that kind of stuff. So if you get two bottles, A, you're not going to run out of color when you're in the middle of coloring your hair. And then also you'll just have it ready when you need to recolor. So I always think it's a good idea to have more rather than, you know, cutting it so close. This is so pretty. Oh my gosh. Yeah, dude. After I have finished coloring my hair, I like to go through all the sections, especially if I'm not okay with some pieces being blonde and I like to pull the little clumps of hair apart and just make sure that no blonde is peeking through um, so that you can make sure you're getting a nice even color. So I highly suggest doing that. You can also go through your hair with a comb. I typically don't do that when I have extensions because I don't like to pull at my hair and at the tapes or glue or whatever it is that I have going on. So I'm not gonna do that today, but I am gonna kind of go through this and just make sure that I'm not seeing any blonde. This is so pretty. Like, you just need to like, can we just look at that close up? Tell me what you want me to do. I can be good or be not in. Oh my gosh, this is so flippin' pretty. I'm so excited for the shade. Oh my gosh, it looks amazing. What do you guys think? I love it. Okay, so now we are gonna use Vacay Dry Volumizing Dry Shampoo right here. Okay, and I'm gonna do this kind of like all in the root area and back through just kind of like the roots everywhere But focusing it mostly up here because this is a little flatter than I typically like my hair and since I just washed it It's gonna need a little help So between spritzing this in here, I'm kind of shaking this up to get more of the dry shampoo, oh my gosh, this smells so fucking good, um, in the pump. I'm gonna wait 30 seconds before um, kind of massaging this in. Just from like massaging this in just a little bit, you can see how much more body my hair has. And of course, me, I'm not gonna stop there. I'm gonna grab my teasing comb and Putting a little bit of grit into your hair before you tease is going to be a much better, oh my necklace has been stuck in my shirt this whole time. It's gonna be, give you a much better like, not canvas, but like much better um, texturizing power, I guess. Cause it's, once it's got a little grit in it, the teasing works extra well. Oh. 
can also see in my roots that like once you blend this in and like massage into your scalp, the white powder look goes away. So this can be used for any hair color. You could have black hair, you just have to thoroughly, you know, massage it into your scalp, but you won't have white powder all over your head. Here is the finished look. I'm absolutely in love with this color. Um, the shade is so beautiful. I absolutely love using our new dry shampoo. It's so fun to be able to use a dry shampoo finally that we created. So very cool. Um, I love the texturizing benefits of vacay. Um, Road Trip is awesome too, but if you have really nice thick hair and you're not looking for any um, crazy texture like this, then you'll wanna go with that one. But um, thank you guys so much for watching. I hope that you guys love the new products. And of course, if you use them or post a video or a picture using any of the products or any Arctic Fox products at all, please hashtag and at myself and Arctic Fox hair color so we can check it out. I also love reposting your guys' creations on my own Instagram stories. So thank you for tagging me and using Arctic Fox and thank you for your support. Just a reminder too, um, we are actually donating 25% of our profits to um, charities to help with the wildfires that have been going on in Australia. So just a reminder there. So if you purchase anything from our site in January um, and February, uh, we're gonna be donating 25% of our profits. So thank you so much for your support. You guys really um, came through when we were talking about Australia and the wildfires and donating. So we decided to like extend that even further. So thank you, thank you um, so much. And as always, we will see you in the next video. And I've got a glass of wine, go figure. I'm surprised I don't have like a glass of rosé. I feel like that, that would be a little more fitting, if you will. So good though. This wine is the 19 Crimes. Have you guys seen that where you can like, someone on Instagram told me this. I didn't actually know this the first time I was drinking this. You can actually like scan the label or something like that and like read about the crime that's like who's on the label of the wine. It's like really cool. I think it's so rad. Anyways, it's delicious. By the way, if you want one of these handy dandy Arctic Fox t-shirts, they are available on our website. Hold the phone. Also, I have never had baby pink hair in my entire life. That is crazy. Can it, I don't know if y'all can find something on Google, but like, I don't think I've ever had baby pink hair. Ever. Wait, I did a peach-ish with Electric Paradise, but I don't think I've ever had like this, have I? Please let me know in the comments about my own hair color since I don't know.